What's up guys and welcome back. We're here with another Rome 2 battle for you guys. And this is this is the Siege of Petra. We have two Armenian ar armies and a Seleucid army against three Macedonian armies. And we're watching here as the Armenian artillery batter down the Macedonian walls. Um, so we'll quickly look over some of the army comps while we can. Um, because it has a pretty, it has a slightly slow start. I'll put a uh, time for those that want to see when the action really gets on underway. So Armenia, both Armenian armies are mainly made up of a lot of hillmen, um, and we have Cartley uh, or more an axeman here. We also have Cartley axeman further along. Um, there they are. These guys look slightly more armoured up than the, their axeman. Um, well, actually, to be fair, they don't look much different. I guess they got some different headdresses. That's pretty cool. Taking cover right now. And we also have some Persian hoplites which have already taken some fire and lost a few casualties. Rest in peace, brave souls. And we also have some elite Persian archers which have spear capability um, if they need to fight off some cavalry. And we have royal cataphracts for their general. And we have some Mer mercenary Cappadocian cavalry just in case they get attacked by, uh, by any uh, of the... Enemy cavalry, that's, that's the word I'm looking for. Um, it's pretty similar here. I'm pretty sure it's exactly the same. Apart from we have some noble spears here instead of... And we have some... Oh no, these are also cut the axemen. We have noble spears. These are like some of the most elite infantry that... Um, that the uh, army you can bring. I, for some reason I wanted to call them Pontus all of a sudden. I don't know why. I better not keep that up. But I mean, look at these guys. I mean, they look goddamn awesome, don't they? They are ready for war. Those men, they are ready for war. I'm just going to take a, a quick screenshot there because I don't don't think I've got many uh, shots of uh, Armenia. Don't see them often on the uh, on the channel, but here we go. So we've got a a push up here from the uh, Armenian axeman or hillman, in fact, trying to get a sneaky attack. We also now have some action already. I, it just seems Sarissa Cavalry are already uh, out here for Macedonia, harassing the Seleucids, which have got a lot of Persian hoplites. Thorax swords, um, Persian hoplites of their own, and Thorax spears. It's a pretty typical um, saluted army. They also bring a lot of Persian heavy archers, uh, light archers, and heavy uh, Syrian heavy archers, which is quite an interesting choice. But here we go. So we've got a nice charge going on here from the Sarissa cavalry coming in, dealing with the artillery, which is going to be key. Because these artillery are going to be key to knock down loads of walls, bring choke points in and cause uh, havoc amongst the enemy ranks, but I mean, the Macedonian player here has done an excellent job. I can't tell you which one it is because they're all, at the, all their armies are kind of all over the place, I think. We have more Sarissa cavalry going around here, looking for another opportunity, but they have basically broken this Sarissa cavalry unit, and the Greek scorpion has still got most of its uh, troops intact. An interesting choice by uh, the Seleucids I spotted was um, their general is a scythe chariot, which I mean, not great really for a uh, for a siege, and also um, kind of a bit vulnerable. He's also running down his own men. Luckily, I think they're all getting up. Yes, good to see. You don't want any friendly fire. I mean, yeah, the general with a side chariot—that's an interesting choice. I mean, I would have probably just brought an infantry unit because I mean, you're not really going to break. Um, oh, actually, they got Greek ballista. They actually got quite a lot of kills. It's the um, the Greek scorpion. I do apologise. I didn't realise they had one. They brought a Greek scorpion as well, so they've got two units uh, of artillery. They, they're going to try and bring to bear on the uh, on their Macedonian. But I mean, they've also just got Sarissa Carry here, just waiting, hunting, looking for the right opportunity. I would um, focus them down with archers. Just waste a bit of ammo. Well, not waste, but just use a bit of ammo upon killing these guys. It's definitely worth um, worth the ammo, and then you get them off the battlefield. Because like right now, he's having to use. Lots of Thorax spears and um, some Thorax swords just to deal with these guys. I just, yeah, he's doing the right job now. He's firing his archers. He's got his, uh, both his Syrian and his Persian archers firing on these guys. And hopefully he should just deal with them pretty quickly. There you go, already breaking. So let's quickly have a look and see what uh, Armenia's do. Armenia's already on the walls. Uh, this well, this Armenian player is the uh, gold player, the uh, person that sent this in, Gandalf. Thank you very much for sending this in. Um, he's already in and he has got troops capping this tower from the Seleucids. And uh, we already have a reply. Well, yeah, actually, no, wait a minute. The Seleucids, the Seleucids are attacking. Why are army, 
Oh, maybe the Seleucids is the main player and they've just can't. Doesn't really make sense. But it's held by Armenia, but we have a Seleucid flag. But oh well. We don't need to worry about that. But anyway, the Armenians have collided with the Macedonians. And we have our first real infantry engagement. And it's going to be between some Cartley Axemen and some uh, Hoplites, these guys look like. We don't really know what Macedon's got. I think they've probably got a lot of Hoplites of their own. And probably a lot of Thorax Swords. The typical sort of units of the Hellenic factions. And I mean, good use by the Hillmen here and there uh, using their Javis. They've taken a lot of damage though. But I mean, they're just going to bring down the pain on these guys. It's good use of um, like the jav Javelin's Javelin capability. So that's really good to see. Um... I mean, Macedon, Macedon probably wants to deal with this because, I mean, this needs to really plug up this um, choke point. Letting them in and just allowing about four or five units in this easily is not a good idea. I mean, you can definitely get all these units off the wall and down here as well, which is probably a good idea. I mean, oh, he's sending up some Thorax swords to deal with these hillmen. I mean, they'll definitely get just minced up then. Um, there's no way that these guys are going to survive that long. Hillmen just no match. Pretty sure um, that's that's kind of about it. There's a sneaky sneaky move going on over here. Just need to keep an eye on this. There's two units of Cartley Axemen ready in the wings, ready to do some damage. It looks like um, we've missed it, but there was a attack over here um, from some Aspis cavalry on on just killing some Hillmen. I think it's a very isolated attack as well. It's one unit of Hillmen here just on their own on a bit of a bit of a secret mission and they got killed by these Aspis cavalry. It's a bit of a bit of a shame, but I mean uh it was worth the risk I guess. Mas uh, not Macedon. The Seleucids are in, in fact. But, uh now fighting Macedon. Let's have a look. Let's see this nice little flank going on here from these uh Thoras Thorax swords. They're gonna kill these other Thorax swords off pretty quickly I imagine. There's a lot of Thorax swords gonna be uh shown in this battle it would seem and now I have, I'm actually would have no idea what unit this is. Uh, I imagine this is oh more thorax swords, of course. I mean that's a good angle there for these uh, Syrian archers. They are going to get some good kills off that. Oh, if I can keep that. I mean, look at that. There's uh, that's going to be some that's Rodian slingers over there. I'm pretty sure or slingers, and they're focused down on these archers. But I mean these archers really should just focus on these pikes, kill these pikes off. So don't worry about these guys. These guys. It's good that they're using their ammo up on you, so uh, instead of using their ammo up on your infantry. I mean, you just keep focusing down their infantry because these poor pikes, they can all they can do is stand here and take it. But really, they should pull back because I mean, they don't really need to send down anything just quite yet. I mean, you could probably, you could definitely choke this area up with two units of swords if need if needs be, or you could just retreat and put swords here instead and bring your pikes to bear later on. When needs be, because this is kind of a good spot. Let them have this area if necessary. This is fine. Just yeah, just make it a kill zone with these archers. And now he's doing the right decision and focusing down his thorax swords, killing, um, killing uh, infantry. That's what I was going to say. Killing infantry with archers definitely better move than trying to kill archers. Obviously, if the occasion uh, arrives where you should just be focusing down archers, do it. Um, but I mean, infantry is what's going to win you the a siege battle. So that's really what you want to kill off. I mean. I think Mastodon was a bit worried of cavalry coming down here, so he decided to make a forest of stakes. And now, I mean, they're trying to get these guys through. Look at these three. They're just stuck here, like, uh, so we just can't get through. There's just too many stakes here. But, um, I mean, it's, this is what's left of the defeated Hoplites. They can't get back through, it would seem, and now they're just going to get crushed by some Cartley Axemen against their own stakes. So it's a shame to see. Okay, there's a huge cavalry charge that's gone out, on out here, which we've just missed. But, I mean, it looks like it's all the Aspis cavalry and one of the Macedonian generals um, fighting some Cartley Axemen. They probably want to send some spears up. They seem to be running stuff away. I would... I mean, I'd take this opportunity to try and close this cav and a general here. This is a great opportunity for, uh, for Armenia to try and just kill them off. But, I mean, at the same time, they are just trying to get everything inside and safe so they can... So this cavalry becomes a bit redundant. But, I mean, this Carly Axman unit is pretty, pretty healthy. They could possibly hold on for a little. They can certainly harass these guys. Oh, God. I mean, I say that. They just all got mown down there. I mean, God, I would not want to be one of them right now. Now they're getting up just to get cut down again. Just stay down, guys. It's safer. Just get up after the battle's finished. I mean, look, you can't. You can barely see them. It's just a, a sea of golden armor down there. And they're breaking already. So, I mean... 
that unit's gone from like 100 when we just had a last look at it to less than 50 and they're just going to go down. They won't be returning. Um, so the Seleucids are kind of just having a standoff it would seem. With Oh actually no, there's a little bit of a fighting going on. Um, it would seem that they brought some like Thracian, uh, mercenary Thracian warriors um, with their big falc swords and they're just going to try and chop these guys down. I mean, they could be okay, but I mean, you want to really support them. They're like uh, any shock infantry unit. You just don't want to leave them in there on their own. They're not going to do well. I mean, it would seem like the Syrian archers up here, well, they're actually getting dealt, or nearly getting dealt with by um, some Thorax swords. They, did not, they must have made a... I don't actually know where they came from. They, oh, they must have just come up here and then just got cut off. Um, but I mean, they've been dealt with as pretty well. I mean, he's got his archers off there pretty effectively, and he's... And his slingers, and now they're just firing over the wall. I mean, these poor guys, they just need to pull back. He's got far too many men just clumped up here. There's not no need for this many men here. But, I mean, I mean, both sides have a lot of men just clumped up, ready to go in. And they're just both throwing all their projectiles in. Um, <laughs> it's just basically who runs out of projectiles first is charging down, it would seem. That's, so we'll come back to that, see if there's anything going on. Is Armenia doing anything? Armenia is starting to push out. Here's a bit of a push. It looks like he's... There's looks like there was already an initial one and they didn't really seem to be too successful. It looks like there's a lot of archers and they must have just got mown down by someone. Um, I mean, these are only militia hot plates. I mean, one swift push and you could get through here and you're kind of... You're into the next sort of, like, area. And this is one of the cap points. So, I mean, if Armini did a very good concentrated push here, they could... Uh, they could certainly do some damage. I mean... Macedon does, in fairness, have a lot of reserves, a lot of more, a lot of militia hot plates. Actually, he's brought. I don't know if this is always this is all one player, but I mean, um, there's a lot of militia hot plates. Actually, they probably could actually push through. There's a lot. Yeah. Oh god, yeah. There's only one unit, and it's only pikemen. It's only a decent unit. I'd definitely make a push, take my chances, and try and get through because you're just sitting here. You're just taking damage. I mean, they are now engaging some more militia hot plates with some hillmen of their own. So two pretty crappy units fighting it out. So we'll uh, have a quick look at this. I mean, I imagine um, the Hillman will lose. Actually, no. Now that they're being supported by Cartley warriors, uh, Cartley axemen, you imagine these um, militia hot plates will probably die, and they can't form phalanx, so they're probably going to die quite soon. Those guys in the back there just watching on as their as their brave comrades are just dying. They're like, it doesn't matter, they were just some militia. They don't really mean a lot. They're just making up time while we uh, make our, form our next defence. I would not want to be one of these. These are just like farmers. You're just These are professional soldiers killing farmers, effectively. It's not worth it. Show them mercy, please. Well, so I think that's going to take a little bit of time to get through. I mean, this is the thing with um, fighting like Mastodon. You are fighting very prolonged war uh, battles. I mean, the Sarissas here are actually just routed some more Persian-like uh, archers. So, I mean, they are doing quite a lot of damage to these Cav. They, um... Oh, wow. Yeah, they actually killed all this... Ca uh, remember all these archers that were out here that were firing over? They've just got massacred. By the Sarissa Cavalry. Most of them, anyway. I don't know if any of them actually got in. I don't think they did. So that's a huge, huge um, hit for the Seleucids. I mean, they've got one over here. I mean, these Eastern Slingers, they're going to die, like, so badly. Uh, or are they waiting for this Thorax Swords unit just to, like... Actually, it's on a lot of fire damage. That might... I don't know if these are still held by... These look like they're still held by the... Um... Oh, no, this is held by Seleucids now. Damn, if this was still held by Mastodon, that could have just burnt this to the ground. This really... They just need to get this unit off and in. Um, they are actually now engaging, though. Um, it would seem that they've sent in Thoros Spears and some Pikes to deal with them. Surprise, Seleucids didn't bring any of their own Pikes to counteract. Because, I mean, when you see all three factions forming as... Uh, going as... Um, Mastodon, you expect at least one of the players to bring Pikes. So you would have thought, being the only Greek faction yourself, you'd bring some. But it would seem not. And now they've got to go through another line of pikes, it would seem. And and it would really help if they had archers, but they don't. I mean, these they really need to get these guys in. They're not, they've not actually got a gate. Actually, no, they do. They have a gate here. They need to just put them through this gate and just send them up. 
I also don't know why they're sending in more elite units when they still have Hillman at the rear. And they've, those thrusters are back in nice and safe. And it would seem like the sneaky operation in the rear here is not going very well. Because one of the units is already broken. I'm not really sure to what. Maybe just to being shot from through our spears? It would seem so. There doesn't look like there's any... What a waste. That's actually a huge, huge waste. It doesn't look like there's at all been any like losses for the enemy. It's just a load of dead Cartley uh, warriors. So that's... A Huge waste. So these Carly Axemen really need to get a move on. They need to get a shuffle on. I mean, they can get land. Uh, they can get down here, and then they can try and maybe push up here and cause some damage. But they also need to start attacking elsewhere. I mean, it looks like the order's been given uh, for the attacks to start. Oh no, the elite Persian. Yep. Yeah, wow. They are destroying these archers. These men are bracing. They're like, we just seen our comrades over there get murdered. By some cartly axemen, it's now time for us to uh, to face our own. Can they hold? I mean, I doubt it. These guys are terrible. But I mean, they're sending their through Sarissa Cav. Are they going to try and punch through these cartly axemen? They it looks like they will. They're going to try it. Here we go, brace men. Oh yeah, they just got obliterated. Wow, they destroyed those Sarissa cavalry. Here we go. The attack, attack's been attack's been given, and here they go. Yeah, I mean, the first front few lines of those Sarissa Cav, they may as well just not have existed. They just got minced by Javis. And then we go. Here comes the cavalry. They're sitting in their own cavalry. That's Royal Cataphrax. That must be a, ge that's a general. So, I mean, that's pretty risky. I wouldn't really have done this, especially against uh, Spears. But, I mean, they're willing to risk it. They're sending in a lot of more Axemen now. Um... They just need to be careful, obviously. They just need to. They didn't even necessarily uh, necessarily needed to attack here. They could have just held in the street, and um, I would have been fine. But I mean, they're fighting just more militia hot plates. I'm just wondering where all their elite stuff is, really. I mean, they've got hot plates here, and more here. I mean, there's a lot of like elite stuff on the edges. But I mean, they're like they're killing this elite, these militia hot plates, and there's another one here, which isn't ready. So I mean, they could they could get to these slingers. There's some Thorax swords here. Thoros spears in the rear, but I mean, still not great. Oh my gosh, those poor, poor Thorax swords that are just like burning on the sea shower. Like, finally we got off that burning wreck. Oh no, cavalry. And then poor guys. Just kill this guy, come on. The audacity that he's going to get away. Don't let, come on. Don't let this guy get away. Kill him. I mean, now you're just getting jabby. Yes, at least you got him. I mean, the charge has now come back in. Oh, my gosh. This Aspis companion cavalry has just been... has made its money's worth, like, at least twice. They're doing amazing. But, I mean, Seleucids are really having a hard time um, pushing up here. It looks like... Um, I don't know. It's, it's pretty close. I mean, they're sending in arch... They're sending in... Oh, no, these are Hillmen. They look like archers because they're that badly armoured. But, I mean... It's looking pretty rough. They have got Hillman in, ready to, in the rear. I mean, these the hot plates here, they might hold. I mean, I'd, I would assume that Masson's got more elite soldiers waiting. It's got a lot of Thorax swords here. Um, but it doesn't look like they've got merc more Mercy Thracians. It looks like a pretty, I wouldn't say cheap, but they haven't got like anything too elite. I mean, Royal Peltas for a general, that's very, that, they'll be solid, they'll hold. Um, but I mean, lots of militia hot plates. Royal Peltas again. Yeah, but there's no real Lily hot plates or pikes waiting for them. So, I mean, so there's still hope for the Seleucids. They just need to uh, do their bit, not constantly attack. Just kill, just remind the Macedonians that they're there. And um, let, it looks like it's going to have to be Armenia that's going to have to do most, both the Armenian faction, factions, both the Armenian players having to do most of the heavy lifting now. With the Seleucids having a pretty rough time of it with the cavalry attacks and uh, and losing all their archers due to that but I mean this is the street fighting is uh, well and truly started this militia hot plates battering well hold, trying to hold their hold the line while well, these cartly warriors and axe axemen here just chopping through bit by bit they know they can't hold they're getting ready look at these look at these guys they're just gonna have to run over these Poor, poor comrades of theirs. I mean, look at all these archers. Good God. War is hell. And it looks like they're setting up more militia hot plates. Good God. Look at the legions of them. 
That's one, two, three, four, five units of electric hoplites. You might as well just brought more elite units at this point. I mean, this is ridiculous. Why are you bringing so many militia hoplites? They've got some pikes ready for them as well. I'd set up a pike unit at this point, try and because they've got nothing to answer that back with. And if you and you protect them, they because look now they're just being focused down. They already know. Oh my god! That first volley there was devastating. That's got that was at least twenty guys dead. Yeah, it was, well, I mean they'd look like they've been focused down for a while actually if they're this low. I mean these guys are getting just destroyed. This is really badly like. Macedon really needs to protect his pikemen a lot better than this. Just put behind a wall so they like they can't be easily hit. But I mean, or certainly move this one. I mean, this one's doomed. But I mean, this is basically a fresh unit here. Move this one, please. Put it behind this wall, facing the wall if necessary, and then you just shunt it along and that way, because they're gonna get. Yeah, there's, there goes one. Now it's gonna be the next. What a waste, of pikes. What a waste. I mean, at least uh, at least the cavalry's doing a good job, it would seem. I mean, I say that. Are they holding? Oh, they're, they're, they're losing decisively, these these Thorax swords. They're like, good god. All we wanted to do was just take this city from the goddamn Macedonians. And first, we get burned on our tower, and then we try and get off, and we get mauled by cavalry. It's a hard life. Come on, don't let these guys get away. They've been trapped. Yeah, well in. Promote that man. You let the other one get away. Maybe don't give him that promotion. Maybe he only does it once. He's not a consistent... A consistent soldier. I mean, Seleucids are actually making some decent headway now. They could really do with some archers like Armenia to take out these pikes. But I mean, yeah, they're, they're tired now of their troops. They're, they are breaking. That's it. Uh, they're pretty dead. Uh, I mean, they, they're running out of troops pretty quick. How many? They got one, two, three. About four units, maybe five units of melee. They really need to get this lot off the walls. I don't know why they're really still here. And these guys, you might as well get these up. Because they're not going to take... This is a saluted held gate. They're not going to be able to get in. It'd be handy if that unit had not been left outside. But, I mean, there it goes. Dead. Broken. I mean, they pulled out. I don't know why they... Actually, no. I think that's just because Seleucid's uh, died. But, I mean, you might want to reform this, um, Mastodon. And maybe that. Just to make a solid block. I mean, but that, there you go. That's what you're supposed to... I know... Actually, no. They, wow, they actually got these slingers in. Wow, I'm impressed. Um, they were allowed, allowed to. They were given mercy by the Aspis Cavalry. Um, but, I mean, this is what you've got to do with pikes. You've got to put it... Behind a wall, so it's out of like view of any archers that it can really get hit, and then you bring it up when it's needed. That's all you have to do. Let's have a quick check on the militia hoplite horde. I mean, as you can see, I, don't, I presume it's dead. Oh no, that might be it there. That might be the other pikeman unit. But I mean, I was about to say it's, it's just seen the pikeman have got dead, have been killed again, but they haven't necessarily. But, I mean, these mercenary Cappadocian uh, cavalry now doing a lot of damage, able to run in behind, causing havoc. Um, I wouldn't know where they'd send them. Maybe, maybe try and get them over here to help out against Seleucid, but I don't know if it's really worth it. Maybe just keep running them around so they keep units chasing after them. Because I mean, now it looks like they're gonna have to, they're gonna commit a Thoros spear and maybe a militia hotplay just to keep an eye on them. And so you can you can capture arrow towers. I mean, it's probably not the greatest idea. But I mean, yeah, they don't look like they're gonna break through here anytime soon. They're having to send up noble spearmen to break through the horde of militia hotplates. It looks like it could hold. I mean, these militia hopper is so good that they're facing the wrong way. Um, I've been facing the wrong way because they're breaking, actually. But, you know... Actually, I don't know. This guy, he's still having to face the wrong way. They're just idiots. Farmers don't know what they goddamn got to do. Or, or maybe... I don't know. Yeah, why are you guys facing the wrong way? There's no cavalry for miles. Also, these guys have it covered. How many reserves do mass, uh, does Armenia have? It's quite a lot. It has a lot over here. This is a huge bunch of troops that needs to get move, moving. I mean, if you can cut off these uh, hoplites, try and engage them from this side and then flank around and just squash them in this street. You're sending these the wrong way, you want to send them in. Engage with this small axeman unit. 
and maybe some more axemen, and then just flank around and kill them off. And that's two pretty elite units. I mean, hot plates are some of the most elite units I've seen that Mastodon's actually got to bear. Most of them they got militia or Thoros spears, which Thoros spears are okay, but I think they'd be beaten up quite na nastily by um, this Kartli axemen, which seems to be like the main enemy that Armenia's got. I don't know who I'm rooting for. I kind of want to see Armenia pull this back because I think Balance of Power is kind of if not in their favour. It's kind of gone out of their favour. It's probably because Seleucus is getting so beaten up over it. I mean, I do feel for the Seleucus player. He's having a rough old time of it. He's had to go straight up this ramp. He's had, he's had to break through this gate, then go up this ramp. He's had been harassed by cavalry the entire time. I mean, at least he's got these slingers here. They're doing a bit of damage to these pikes. Just keep whistling away at them. Kill them off. But he's going to keep them there. But he's, yeah, he's committing. He's committed e basically everything now. I mean, I still don't know why he's not used these two units. He's also lost his general at some point. I have no idea when that happened. Maybe when the Aspis cavalry were harassing them. I have no idea. Actually, let's let's have a look. Can we find his general? Can't, should be easy. He's a flipping chariot unit. I say that, it's going to take forever, isn't it? I bet I can't. Oh, here they are. Rest in peace. You fool anyway, bringing a chariot unit in a siege. Even if you're defending, that's not a smart move. Unless you've got like a cool ramp, you're going to possibly ro charge them down as a last stand. But I mean, actually they might come... They're going to get this Thora spear, spear unit here. But I mean, I am also have a feeling that this cavalry is going to destroy this Hillman unit. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm definitely ready. There's a definitely a cavalry charge coming. They're waiting for that unit to commit, but I think they've, the order's already been given. I think they were expecting this unit to commit and go around and flank. And now they've seen that what's going to happen. Some noble spears are being mobilized. Um, but I mean, I think it's, it's inevitable. I think here we go. Yeah, they weren't ready. I mean, it's not the greatest charge because you've had to come around a corner. It would have been better if they had committed and you could have gone straight into the back. But, I mean, those Noble Spears better be running for their lives because they're going to... Yeah, you can see Noble Spears and Cavalry in the rear getting ready to come up. They're going to try and just... They're like... The Armenian player has basically said, this is enough. No more Cavalry. Shouldn't be able to do cav Cavalry charges inside a city anyway. You have no right. Just infantry's playground. Here they come. Armoured cataphracts in the rear. Why are you standing off? You might as well go in. Go in. Sit, try and save this Hillman. I mean, they're also sending in some Thorax swords to help support. Oh, here we go. Oh, they just... Did they stop? Again? What are you doing? Noble Spears, please commit these guys. Just try and kill a few of these goddamn cavalry. They've be, been a menace all game. They said, no, it's both general units, and neither of them want to commit their general. And they're pulling out as soon as they see that spears have arrived. Well done by the Macedonian player there. Um, at this point, I would possibly send in these hot plights and try and surround these guys. And maybe you could support them with cavalry, because now you've basically plugged up this hole with their infantry. You could probably, this cavalry's free to go, like, all the way around here. Do some more harassing movements. You could probably get in behind, actually. You could go... Um, round here, a long route. You could try and get round to those arches around the back. Took a long time, but it's worth a try. And you also then could get into behind here, into the rear of this. And if you broke all this, you probably won. I mean, Armenia, poor guys, I think are just about through. Oh gosh, look how close the artillery's had to get just to try and break these goddamn militia. Thousands, well, not thousands, but hundreds of militia have died trying to defend this spot. And pikes, they're finally in. Thank God they sent these pikes in. Here we go. Oh, I missed that one. But I mean, you can see the aftermath. I think he's, um, I think the player is uh, using it himself because it's only one firing. I mean, there you go. You see, it's just, these guys aren't even looking the right way. They, that's how much they respect this artillery piece. And here we go. I mean, they should kill these guys off, surely. Now, I actually don't, it's just... These are some Eastern Spears. I didn't see these guys, but I mean, these are pretty cheap. Uh, I'm surprised they didn't get sent in earlier. I mean, there we go. They're broken. They're finally through. They are finally through. But there's now infantry up here. There's militia hot plates and throw spears up here. I mean, these archers 
I mean, these Catholic Axemen might get through both of these units. Unlikely, though. Persian Hot Plates. I mean, get these archers off and just get them down here focusing. Okay, the cavalry's now being re mobilized. I don't know what. How, what happened here? Oh, so the infantry that was in the square has gone through here and tried to surround these guys and it's got then caught out by this cavalry. And they've sent in some hot plates. So I think it's it's kind of like an encirclement and then another encirclement. So I mean that that could end that could end in many a way. I mean, but both sides are running out of uh, of running out of horses now. I mean, if I was uh, Armenia, I'd probably send up some units, try and surround these guys on the walls, and then maybe send up um, these eastern spears, and then send these noble spears onto like onto the capture point. Try and take this capture point. I think this is the main capture point. Not this huge spire over here. Is it? It might be that, which wouldn't surprise me. This huge spire near all these pyramids. Oh no, bad move. I mean, come on, Salus. It's just that don't even bother attacking. Just stand and look at them, which they kind of are at this point. Actually, they're just ever, ever so slightly. You just have to keep forces here because otherwise Mastodon can turn all this around and just put it on Armenia, which would certainly see um, would finish Armenia's hopes of uh, of winning. But I think they are now surrounding them, so that is good. I think they're sending up the both units, Noble Spears and Eastern Spears. Um, don't really want to. They seem to not want to risk fighting this cavalry down here, which is definitely seems to be what's uh, keeping Mastodon in this game. I mean. And it's still pretty healthy that, apart from that one. I obviously hover on the one that's the least healthiest. 10, 15, actually 44, that's where all the uh, cavalry is. So I mean, it's they're pretty beaten up on most of the cavalry units now. Finally. I mean, they've been in just about every sector of the battle. I mean, they've got a lot of infantry here, does Armenia actually. I'm saying that they were short on stuff. They've got another three units of pretty, fairly, I say fresh. Fresh in numbers, possibly. Well, as fresh as fresh can be at this point. Fresh has just been used about 20 times in that one sentence, but you know what? I don't care. Let's just uh, let's have a little watch for this engagement here. Let's see what goes on. If anything really happens. I don't think so. But we can just enjoy the clash of two steel-plated armies. I don't know where I was going with that, but... That's that's me, not thinking what he's saying, just saying it, and it'll get me in trouble one day. Get some fluids on. Gonna need them for this uh, commentary, and this, my throat is just about recovered from my illness. But uh, yeah, we're getting there. Right, I mean, looks like we're finally going to deal with these goddamn cavalry. Come on, Armenia. I'm, I believe in you. You can break through and kill these guys. I mean, how many? There's definitely not many of them left now. I mean, Royal Cataphracts, they're very fresh. You could definitely initially kill these guys. Also, try and kill these um, Peltas. You can surround these guys. It gets, have they got any infantry? <sighs> no, they don't, actually. Oh, come on. Break these guys. Break these guys. If this cataphract, cataphract unit holds them up, then this one could get through. Oh yeah, that's perfect. It still leaves a nice little road here for them to get through and try and kill these Peltas. But I mean, then I'll be mobilized to kill this general unit. It's all coming down to this then, for uh, who's going to whose general's going to get killed. I actually don't know if any generals might have already. Some generals might have already died, to be honest. I just don't know about it. Very unlucky if they had. I mean. Those cataphracts definitely need to get out of there, though, because the longer they're in melee, the the more likely they are to die. But I think they're kind of holding up this choke point right now. They are, because all their infantry... So this infantry here just needs to get off the walls. They need to get this off the walls and down, because they need support, I think, because those Royal Peltas are certainly helping killing off these uh, cataphracts. But, I mean, and also, I mean, he's got a huge clump of troops here, which really need to get... A move on and try and take this capture point or help deal with this cavalry over here because that's literally it. And it looks like the sluices are pulling back. But the sluices just had a day, had enough. You cowards! You were so close after all this ground that you just take. Imagine being one of their soldiers like we took all we got 
so far, I took all this ground, all these men died for nothing. Like, look at the, look at the piles of dead Seleucids and Macedonians. It's all for nothing. They've just walked away from it. That is an interesting move. Okay, no, they're coming back into the city. Was it all? Was it all a fake move? Like a a feint? Is it going to be the greatest move of all time? Possibly, probably not. I mean, it looks like. Oh, these were... what happened? I shouldn't have had a look to see what the sluice was doing because I've just missed whatever the heck happened to all this cavalry. I think it all just got killed. So they finally got all these spears and stuff off the wall. And the Royal Peltas are getting pretty beaten up. But I mean, finally the cavalry is dead. The Aspis cavalry has gone. Oh my gosh, and here we go. Cataphracts are back for another charge. Archers firing in with what ammo they got left. Oh yes, one, that one cavalry guy there just took out about five infantry. I mean, most of them are going to get up again, but I mean, still. It's the power of the cataphract for you. And they're cheering for some reason. They're not even broken yet, man. Stop cheering. These Royal Peltasts are still here. And they're taking names. Oh, there you go. There's another one name taken. His name was Barry. Barry the Armenian. But they are broken now. That was his last kill, and then he's running off. I mean, what we've got left then? Hot plates are hot. This hot plates the only unit in this entire area. Armenia has basically won the sector, and the balance of power is now back in Armenia's favour. And I mean, those troops that were over by the Seleucids, they're probably their knees are probably knocking. They're probably pretty worried. They're somewhere around here. Fog wall pre uh, preventing me from seeing it. But I mean, they've got. They want to defend this choke point now, and that choke point, and that's it. If they lose either of them, GG. That's it. Hopefully they got some ammo left, because they're going to need it. I mean, okay, they've barely moved. This, yeah, you, I'd just get one unit there. Actually, no, maybe two. Stretch these unit, both these units out very thin, so you have uh, pikes and swords supporting them. You could have also probably actually come back to here. If you were the Macedonians, you could have gone back to this line here since they pulled back. This was probably a better spot. They've, but they've got a fair amount of stuff. They've got two Thorax swords, some pikes. I think they've still got their general, which is a Royal Peltas. And I think they've got some archers and some other beaten up stuff. But I'm not quite sure. But anyway, we're going to fast forward. As you know, we'll just play. Because it looks like the Sluice is going to go in for one more charge. Here we go. One last charge. Don't charge straight into the pike, so that's just a stupid decision. That's a silly decision. But I mean, it looks like... Well, it looks like the uh, Armenian and Seleucid armies have got, have got this. But I mean... Macedon, if he if he sorts it out, I mean, if he sends this unit, he could flank all these guys and he could kill them. But I mean, it looks like the Macedonian player must have thrown in the bag at this point, thrown in the bag and just gone out oh, the towel. That's the one. Why am I thinking the bag? Thrown in the towel and he's called it a day. So Armenia does win, and it did look like they were probably going to go on and win it anyway. So I'm sorry for the abrupt end to that, uh, guys. But we'll quickly have a look at the end results. So we have, um, we'll quickly look at the Seleucid player first. So, I mean, the side chariots, as I expected, got zero kills. It was a very strange decision by 1 1 sometime to bring them, but I mean, worth a try, I guess. Um, his Thorax swords and his Thorax spears doing the best pre uh, performing for him. There is, uh, all his missiles did fairly well as well, getting some solid kills. Um, hopefully. Uh, he learns from this. Maybe not bring a scythe chariot. It's a good learning curve. Don't know if he's a new player. But, um, and also, uh, get all your infantry inside. If there's a lot of cavalry harassing outside, it's a good idea. But he did was in a, for a rough game. So, I mean, well done to him. And constantly harassing the Macedonian army, even with the small amount of forces he had left. Um, Tom Clark, um, with, with the first of the Armenian players, doing very well again with his... Um, Car or is it Axman actually? His Axman getting over 200 kills. Um, his Carly Axman doing just as well, getting 100 and odd kills, and his 
Noble Spear is doing very well as well. And his archer is performing very well. Getting also over 200 kills. It's pretty impressive. Well used archers there. Um, Gandalf here, the guy that sent this in. Thank you very much. Um, with uh, some solid kills for his archers and his axemen as well as Tom Clark and his cataphract general getting over 130 kills probably from all killing all those aspis cavalry off just at the end there um so well done by him as well so we'll quickly look at the macedonian players um borley getting um some solid kills with his royal peltast his hot plates holding very well i'm surprised that they brought so many militia hot plates i probably would have brought some different stuff and just had a smaller army i mean definitely was probably a better decision he didn't really spend a lot of money on his cavalry so the service cavalry are very cheap so I'm surprised, and he's not really got anything too massive expensive. So why he brought these guys, I'm not quite sure. Don't know what the cost was for armies, but even still, I'm pretty sure he could have afforded something better than these guys. And it kind of showed in the battle that they needed some more quality there. Um, the second Macedonian player, um, Vrit Kumar. Um, I mean, his mercenary Thracian. Oh, this is the guy that held at the end here, threw in the bag, I think, because he's got some still fresh units that didn't uh, fight. So I mean. He got some okay kills. I mean, his Thoracic Cavalry doing the best um, for him. Getting some... Actually, no, he got some Thoric Swords down here. But his Thoracic Cavalry did very well again. Early game, harassing um, so the Seleucids. It was a very good... Uh, some very good harassing techniques there. Um, his Thoric Swords did very well. I mean, he lost a lot of troops. I mean, they seem to get focused down a lot by archers, which is unfortunate. But, um, yeah, maybe not clump up his troops next time. Is advice I could give um, to anyone that's watching. It's probably the best idea. And then Teddy Bear, who probably, with his Aspis Companion Cavalry, God, these guys did so well in the battle. They getting 300 kills, probably nearly 400 kills between them. And then the Companion Cavalry, the General, getting another extra 100 kills. And then, again, he brought a surprising amount of Militia Hotplates. I don't know if it's like a rule or something. It must have been, surely, to bring this much Militia Hotplates. I do not know. Um... But I'd love to know why um, Gandalf, why this many men were being brought, uh, militia hotlight were being brought, but who knows. But um, And then his archers did okay. I mean, they got out outgunned really by the superior elite Persian archers, to be honest. And then his Zora spears did okay. And his pikes, I mean, they were just left for dead in the open, to be honest, which is a shame. But anyway, guys, if you've enjoyed the siege battle and you want to see more siege battles on Rome 2 or any of the other Total Wars, then please leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here to join the Papal Legion, and until next time, Legionnaires.